What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, today's video I'm going to tell you how to meet local non-professional girls in Mexico, Costa Rica, Cuba, anywhere in Latin America, okay? Guys, and when I say non-professional girls, I'm talking about non-prostitutes, non-working girls, all right? This video is going to be fire. It's going to be a one-take Drake. I'm going to go all the way through it in 10 minutes, no editing, and we're going to kill it. All right, guys, first things first, I also want to talk about at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what to do once you meet the girl, guaranteed to go out with her, you're going to get lucky, and I'm going to tell you some other really good tricks that you need to know so your whole vacation doesn't get ruined, okay? Also, if you haven't heard already, October 31st, I'm having a huge party in Tijuana. Everybody's invited. If you're a subscriber, you're invited. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I keep it real. I hope to meet you there October 31st. We're going to be having a lot of drinks on Revolution. Then we're going to walk down to Zona Norte, and there's going to be a lot of women. It's going to be a lot of women, a lot of drinks, and a lot of fun. Okay, guys, one more thing. I got a video coming out tomorrow. As we speak, a good buddy of mine is at the New Body Spa in Tijuana. He's checking it out. He's going to give me a full report. We're going to come with a full report of the Adelita Bar, the Hong Kong Club, the New Body Spa. The New Body is a place that a lot of people have asked me to give a review on. I myself have never been there, but I'm up in North Dakota working right now, and I got a really good buddy of mine that's going to go tonight. And he's going to check it all out and provide a full, full review. So let's jump right into it, guys. If you want to meet these girls, you're going to meet local girls in Mexico or Colombia. Anywhere in Latin America, you got to do it on Latin America Cupid, okay? Now, Latin America Cupid is an online dating website. And what that is, is it's going to scroll down into Colombia Cupid, Mexico Cupid. All you do is select the country you want to go to. Now, what you're going to find here is what I call gringo hunters. These girls are hunting gringos. They want foreign men. You're going to find a few prostitutes on this website, but you'll be able to filter through them really quick because they will immediately start hitting you up for money. Normal girls on this website, they're just gringo hunters. They're professional women in their own countries. A lot of them have been to the university. They're looking for a better life. They're looking for a better future. They're looking to get out of Colombia or Mexico, whatever it is. So just because they're looking for a committed relationship with a foreign guy doesn't mean you have to commit to it, guys. Just hit it and quit it unless you really like it. I've done this several times. I guarantee you that website is fire. It works. It's going to get you lucky, okay? Now, let me also say this. A few of these girls, when you go down there, like I said, they're gringo hunters. They're going to show you a good time. They're going to knock your socks off, okay? They're going to do whatever they can to convince you to stay into a relationship than them. It's not like these American girls that are highfalutin, stuck-up girls that don't have time for you. Guys, in Latin America, there's no rejection, okay? There's no girl that's unapproachable. Everyone is available. All right, guys, so what you're going to do is you're also going to find a few girls on these sites. There's nothing wrong with these type of girls. They just need a little help. They're not full-blown professional girls. They want to go out with you. They want to show you a good time. And they might need a washing machine. Or they might need their electricity bill paid. But if you go to LatinAmericaCupid.com, MexicoCupid.com, ColombiaCupid.com, you're going to find what you're looking for. Guaranteed. Also, stick around because I'm going to tell you guys some really good tips later on in the video. But number two, Tinder. Go to the premium version of Tinder Pay the 10 bucks or the 20 bucks, whatever it is. Type in the city that you're going to, be it Tijuana, Mexico City, Bogota, wherever you're going. And just what you do on Tinder, just swipe yes to the first 50 or 60 girls. However many swipes they give you, just swipe yes. Boom, 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 boom. Don't spend all day reading profiles, looking for who's cute, looking for who's not. No, just swipe yes to all 50. And then the girls that accept you or the girls that swipe yes back, those are the ones that you look for, okay? Because they've already seen your picture and they've already said yes. Now, what this will do is save you a whole lot of time. So you got Latin America Cupid, you got Tinder. Also, guys, when you go out, especially in Tijuana, this applies anywhere in Latin America, but I'm going to name places specific to Tijuana. But when you go out, guys, waitresses are all available. Girls at the gym are available. Girls walking down the street are available. Girls in bars are available. For example, if you go out in Tijuana, Revolution Avenue, 
and you're just hitting the bars, just one right after the other, if that waitress is cute and she's flirting with you, she's available, okay? I banged a Hooters waitress in Cancun. I banged a Hooters waitress in Bogota, okay? These girls are available, guaranteed. If they smile at you, if they make eye contact with you, they're available. This is Latin America. It's not America. You know, in the United States, all these girls are stuck up. Um, they think that they're better than everyone. You're used to rejection. You're used to not having the confidence to approach these girls. It's not that way in Latin America. All right, guys. So now that I've told you that about Latin America, Cupid, Tinder, and I've also told you about walking around downtown, any girl is approachable. Let me tell you what you do. This is probably the most important part of the video. When you fly down to Bogota or you fly down to Tijuana, you're going to want three to four girls lined up because a lot of these girls are going to be flaky. What you don't want to do is spend all your time talking to a girl, chatting with one girl, committing to her, falling in love with her, or really being excited about seeing her. And then for whatever reason, she doesn't show up and you're disappointed and your whole trip is ruined and your time is wasted. Do not do that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line up different girls from different nights. Also, stay in a different hotel. Some of these girls will become clingers. They will want to be with you. They will not want you to spend time with other girls on your trip. They will try to connect with you and they will try to start a relationship for you to bring them back to the United States. It is imperative that you stay in at least two different hotels, okay? And what you tell the girl is, say, hey, look, I'm coming down on some business. I have some work to do. For example, if you're in Tijuana, be like, I'm coming down on some business. I have some work to do in Tijuana, but I'm also going to have to go to San Diego for one night to see an old college friend. Or you can say something like, I'm coming to Bogota on business, but I'm also going to go to Medellin because a good buddy of mine lives there and I haven't seen him in three or four years. All right. So use that as an excuse, like a private party with a buddy or a business, or visiting an old friend, because that will get you away from her. If you say something like, oh, I want to check out Ensenada, she'll be like, oh, let me go down there with you. No, you don't want that. All right, guys, so what you're going to do is, the first night you fly in, I recommend hanging out with the professional girls first, okay? For example, you fly into Tijuana, fly in on a Wednesday or Thursday night, go to the Adelita Bar, go to the Hong Kong Club, go to the Chicago Club, have fun with the professional girls there, because it's less crowded on a Thursday night. And then Friday and Saturday night, that's when you're going to hit up the two different girls that you met on Mexico Cupid. And then leave Sunday open for the girl that you liked best. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you go out with a girl Friday night for Mexico Cupid, whether you get it or not, or, you, or you're lucky or not, and you have another girl lined up for Saturday, it's imperative that you change hotels right then, okay? Go to a different hotel. That way you don't get... Her showing up the next day and she ruins your other day and then she's also mad at you. So you lost everything that you had going for you. Okay. All right, guys. Like I said, I hope you like this video. Any other videos you want me to do, I'll do for you. Remember Latin America Cupid. Remember Tinder. Remember to stay in two places. Line three or four girls up for your trip. That's imperative. You got to do it. Okay. So don't forget, guys, hit the red subscribe button, right? Smash that thing if you haven't already done it. Also, come to my party. My Halloween party is going to be off the chain. It's going to be fire. I can't wait to get down there. And any other questions you might have, guys, let me know. Stay safe. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'm really looking forward to this next video, the New Buddy Spa. I heard the place is fire. We're going to find out right now. All right, guys. See you later in a couple days.